Hello, my friends. I mean you. Yes, you. Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. Today, my brother Leon is visiting me from the Netherlands. Hi there. You have um, seen him before in two great videos where he acted as a cameo. He was a plane in one video where we did a video on the DCC 130 on the beach. But he was a big part of the project when we built a boombox that contained a mini disc and DCC. As he has way more patience than I have and fantastic mechanical skills, we asked him today to join on a project on this DCC. It's a Lisa Stansfield. It has a broken tape and for years we have been trying to figure out how Jonathan Dupre in France actually opened a DCC and was able to close it, including the metal lid. This video is going to show you how Leon is able to do that. Hello, for this um, tape we're going to try to repair this very rare Lisa Stansfield tape. Um, it probably has a, a broken tape, but we don't know for sure. So we have to open it and check what's underneath. First of all, you have to remove the plastic and the picture of the album. For that, um, you have to check really careful what the status is. These tapes are more, more likely be very old. Mostly they are clipped. So we remove the clips, the plastic clips, as you can see, and then you slide it open, and the end is glued together with a very little amount of glue. We can reuse that later on. Then you take out the cover, the album cover, and then we have the tape. The normal tape has a um, metal slider, as you can see. There is a spring inside, which was the, the main problem uh, to discover how this spring works and how we could um, fix it afterwards and put it back in place. Um, for removing the metal slider we put a little tool underneath the metal. You see? And then you have to lift the metal slider but make sure that you help it um, come loose from this from these metal clips because if you put too much tension on it these metal clips clips will come off will break like this so a little bit tension and help it very carefully very gently Removing it from with your nail like this. Not too much pressure because the metal will dent and bend very easily. Now it's the, this, this was the most difficult part, keeping the two metal uh, the two plastic clips intact. If you lift the metal here you can see the spring inside that we need later on. For now, we have to lift the front side. We use the same metal tools to lift it a little bit, keep it under there, keep some pressure on it, and then with our nail, we lift the metal slider very very gently very easy it comes off 
while it comes off you check that there is no damage to a little metal clip inside which hold the spring we need that afterwards it has to be intact so check that this metal clip is okay for now this one is okay then you turn around the tape and you see the spring we can remove it for now we need that later on then we have to open the tape and that is a very special and unique way to do that you take it with both hands and you twist it and all hell breaks loose this is the only way all the clips inside have to come off that is no problem because we glue that back together later on you look for an opening and you open the tape very very gently then we open it and you see that our tape is broken at the beginning of the tape now we can start repairing it and then putting it back together in the opposite direction we used our tape cutter and special tape designed for this we cut out all the damaged tape which was actually quite a bit and put a piece of tape on the back the damage was most likely caused by a bad pinch roller or a bad gear in a second generation player. By cutting the ends while on top of each other, you can make sure there is no overlap. So we fixed the tape. And now we're going to put it back together. Here we go. So Okay, now you can check on the tape if it's in the right place. It may take a while, but in the end, you know how tape should be in a cassette. If the tape is okay in its place, all the springs are in its place, we only need um, a um, back cover like this one. The plastic is already in this back cover and then now we are going to glue on four or five points the top on the cassette. Will you do the honors? Sure thing.
Should be good to go. Okay, now we're gonna put the cover back on the tape. Make sure the tape is good inside and underneath the plastic. Squeeze it firmly and perhaps use some clips to hold it in its place. Like this. And now we wait for a few minutes and let it dry so it will become one cassette again. So we had a little drink and uh, something to eat and now we're going to check if it is glued together. Well, seems like my brother did a good job. It is glued together very nicely. And the tape works. So, first step taken. Now for the second step. We place the spring in its place. Normally it is like this when you take it out. But for the reassembling, you have to put the spring in this little hole so it's ready to fire. We fire it uh, when the metal slider is on. Okay so the spring is in place um, and we gonna put back the slider. Make sure the little clip is okay, not bent in any way. Then we use a little piece of paper, put the paper on the front side of the tape Make sure the cover is over the tape and on the other side align the slider with the markings of the tape. Then, oh, then put a little pressure on it. Put a little pressure on it like this. Then open the slide a little bit and let it go. Then remove the paper and the slider is in its place. You see it already works. That means that the spring got out of its place and is in working order now. Normally we put back a little paper underneath it and we push the spring in working place like this like this like this since this is the tricky part we cut open the metal slider to show you this in detail first view is without the metal slider but with the spring and paper Now with the slider we cut in half for this view. If you hear the click you have positioned the spring correctly. Yes, but now we were lucky. It went okay. Now the slider must be put back under the plastic clips that we do in reverse order. You tend, you tend to bend a little bit the metal slider and you put it under the plastic clip. On the other side you do the same. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Second try and it works. You see the slider works perfectly. I think it even works better than it did before. Tape is in good order. Now we put back the paper 
cover and then the plastic again but for that we use a little bit of glue on the other side and the top side has these little clips as you can see and they go underneath there but for the gluing I asked my brother for help it's nice to do a collaborative video so, so what we do is Just the tiniest special glue, a bit of glue in the corners with a toothpick. With a toothpick, press it down, clip it up, and clamp it a little bit, and we'll give this a few minutes to dry. Dr. DCC, may I present to you? The first handmade repaired DCC cassette. Let's hope there is some music on it. <laughs> Here you go. Here we go. Ooh, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. So what an interesting project to do with, uh, with my brother. Another uh, tape restored, never done this before. So it's great to do Elisa Stansfield. But in all honesty, we now have to give the title Brother DCC to the <laughs> ultimate brother who is, you know, he really doesn't care so much about uh, cassettes, but he is fanatic about me. You know, I'm his only brother. He's my older brother, been there. All my life, he was one of the first Patreons. He's always there to support me. But he also had a very special reason to uh, do the Lisa Stansfield yes. uh, tape. Uh, tell them. Yes, we visited uh, London a few years ago, before COVID, long before COVID. And we went to a concert uh, of Lisa Stansfield and there we met Lisa Stansfield. So when my brother asked me to repair Lisa Stansfield cassette, that was very, very, very uh, much uh, uh, fun and an honor to do. Here is the proof that I met uh, Lisa Stansfield live and it was an awesome uh, concert in that day. So, so uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. And, absolutely, uh, absolutely. I loved it a lot. And although, although we, we might, we're going to test this tape fully, we might last a few seconds of Lisa Stansfield as this tape was sold to us, you know, with all these crinkles and we had to cut out quite a few um, centimeters of, of tape. Yeah. It is better to have this at the museum. We've only seen this once, now working most of the songs. So Lisa Stansfield, if you're listening, we got your back. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Stanfield out of my nose. <laughs> okay. Um. Shit. <laughs> I lost my spring. Where's my spring? What's that? <laughs> okay. I think I found it. Let me no, see. no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me see where it is. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> okay, thank you for <laughs> keeping it. <laughs>